Sometimes the right tool for a session is a familiar song that you recreate with the client. Sometimes the right thing to do is to improvise and create music on the fly and just let things flow and play from your heart. Uh, sometimes it's about composition, you know, writing a song or lyric replacement. And sometimes the right tool is just a receptive experience, uh, listening to music. But besides those four major methods of music that we have in music therapy, uh, there's also a category that I call musical games that I use a lot. And I use them as pre-musical experiences and post-musical experiences or extra musical experiences. They're not quite like songs, but a musical game is a experience that uses the elements of music. So we're still using timbre, uh, rhythm, dynamics, you know, all these different elements of music, but kind of in an informal way. Uh, and what makes it a game is that you have givens or play rules. And these are experiences that uh, over the last 20, 30 years I've developed and some of them I've designed. And I use these a lot as icebreakers, as kind of things to interject into a session, maybe to refresh everybody, refocus everybody. I use them a lot to help clients connect with each other. A lot of these games require interaction. So they're really great for increasing socialization, uh, getting people to look around, you know, reality orientation, uh, maybe challenge folks mentally a little bit with memory uh, or movement skills. And so there's lots of applications for these within a music therapy context. Um, there's over 20 games in the Musical Games for Groups CMTE course. This course is based on the best-selling DVD, Drum Fun, Musical Games for Groups. And I just think as a music therapist, you're going to be surprised at how many different ways you can use your instruments, get more out of the instruments you have, uh, breathe new life into your sessions. Uh, many of the games that I present in this are, well, first of all, they're really simple, a lot of them. And you can do them with instruments. You can also do them without instruments. I do a lot of these with vocals and body percussion. You can do them with found sounds. And they're also scalable. So you can do a game with three people or 30 people. Uh, so if you have any questions about the Musical Games for Groups CMTE course, you can email me, Kalani, at office at kalanimusic.com. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and considering expert CEUs dot com for your CMTE needs.